Hi. Right, welcome to Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope Facebook page on YouTube. I just want to and I just want to say um I want to speak through that little voice in your head, you know that wee voice that you keep quiet and you know you think to yourself uh, but I thought best way get it out of my chest uh, so you may have seen another video I'll put a wee link to the end the condolences and everything else went to Zack Snyder and all our thoughts prayers whatnot go to him but now I want to talk about the other little side of my head you know the wee quiet side he said that you know it's just a film and I have to disagree with him. If films were just films, they wouldn't have an emotional impact that it does. We wouldn't be having groups and pages dedicated to it. We wouldn't have cosplay play players. Movies are there to educate us, to show us the world, to bring happiness, to bring joy, to bring a tear to our eye. They hear that they do so much for us and especially you know when you've got genres like Star Wars and Star Trek that you share with your family and bring up people want to see these movies before they pass away and, and then it's life and life is so so bad right now you know sadly those people injured in the Manchester bomb you know it, it takes a home what life is about but we depend on these movies and we follow these movies um, to bring joy to our lives, to take us away from these and and some of us become fans, some of us become supporters and people like you Zack Snyder, you're a, a genius still yet to be discovered as far as I am concerned and although I, fa I find that admirable that you know, for the fans, you braved so much going into the the audience and talking when you when you suffered such a tragedy and um, to make Justice League to try and get your mind off things. But Warner Brothers had offered to to put your film back a year, and so you could take time. I would have loved to have done that because I'd have got in your picture. I would have got your film. Now, when Temple of Doom was made, it was made in the time of um, when Steven Spielberg and George Lucas was going through a divorce, and it's said to be one of the darkest films. So maybe it was, maybe there was something truth in that, and maybe waiting a year so we, we could get your results. I have defended Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, anything, you know, I've defended you since Man of Steel. And it's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time arguing against all the haters and, and stuff like that. And I know there's a lot of trolls out there, Snyderverse and stuff like that, who are right nasty, a really piece of work. And I've been thinking with Wonder Woman, because you wrote that and stuff. But for me, Justice League would have been your, the film that we would have shown those haters this is Zack Snyder, this is stuff. But sadly enough, you've had to move away and we totally respect your decision, uh, it's admirable and everything else, but there's that little wee bit in the voice of me that's saying, if only you held on to that bit, because it's like, yes, George Whedon's only doing a little wee bit, and yes, it is your film, it is your film, you've done the majority of it, you know, but then again, Superman 2, Richard Donner, was, it should have been his film, but it's not thought of as a Richard Donner film in the second one because he got another director in. It's like, for instance, take the Mona Lisa. Okay, imagine Zack Snyder had painted the Mona Lisa and he had to stop and get somebody else to come in to paint that smile. And who remembers anything about the film but this, that's the sort of thing. 
I'm not saying Joss Whedon is going to come in and make it better. Oh no, no, far from that. I'm just saying people are going to use that little wee bit, that little bit, to to take the credit away from you and to give us a hard job and uh, to try and convince people and spread the news, the facts that it is your film. You know, and it is it's just, you know, my selfish reasons, my selfishness would have wanted you to would have wanted you just to finish it, to, to top it off. Yes, we know Josh Whedon's there and he's got the guidance to to uh, do it in your style. But that's that's not gonna stop the haters. That's not and as I say, out of this film would have been, for me, for, for you, I mean, you, master director, but this was the film that was going to show everybody the genius and what, what you could do with Justice League with your trilogy. To, to, you know, you'd done the first two, you were on to your last chapter and I know you were dedicated to finish it. You know, you worked on it, it was your baby and stuff like that, and you must have gone through hell with the loss of your daughter. But you know, at the same time, I'm thinking, maybe, just, I would have waited a year. I would have waited a year to see Zack Snyder's film. And this, yes, Justice League, when it comes out, is your film. I just know that I will be struggling and fighting again, explaining to people and all those haters out there that, you know, and sharing the facts that it is your film, but it's, people will just cling on to the Josh Whedon and how much input he did and not realising it is your film. And yeah, going back to what I was saying before, films are important. You take Sinless List, a film, or oh, Saving Private Ryan, something that moves you. A film can can maybe turn, can, that, that's, a film can be trans, uh, Know, taking all around the world and put in different languages and, and make the world feel connected over you know and we're all speaking the one language in movies we're all united in films the world like Star Trek did it showed us a better future for mankind you know people dress up to become a part of this to become a part of something that that makes life just that wee bit better. So no Zack Snyder. It's not a film. And you're not just any director. My selfishness, my little bit in the back of my head, just wished you just hung on for just one more month so we could have quietened the haters or any sort of objectivity that would have came our way and say, no, this is a Snyder's film. There's a guarantee he done everything himself. Sadly, five or ten minutes worth of the film may not be his, but that's what the haters and stuff is going to go on about. I hope you do come back, Zach. Uh, I hope you do come back to the DC Universe, because we need you. We need your wife, and we need... We need you, and for me, the DC needs Zack Snyder for its guidance for its future films. Uh, and I, I, I hope to hear some news, some months down the line, and I hope your family all gets, you know, gets past this uh, difficult time. And I just say, my selfishness again. Just wish you just finish the film, quieting these haters, and you, you put up with a lot of stuff, you put up with a lot of grief, you know, you were, you're putting all these haters in the back of your mind, all these people were commenting and stuff like that, you had the studios on your back, but, but they showed you support, they gave you your free hours, they got you to make Justice League, but maybe they knew what sort of stuff you were going through, and for me, I like to believe, or I know, that you wanted Justice League, you wanted to do that for the fans and you struggled as hard and as long as you could. <sighs> it's just that one wee bit of me that just 
seeing you reaching that finishing line. Again, that's my little bit of, of thing that's gone through me. But we'll carry on. Man of Steel fan gives hope page. We'll carry on defending and making sure that the Justice League movie will be remembered as your movie. Thank you. Please leave your comments down below. Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, maybe you want to let go of your little, little voice in the background. Thanks very much.